Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we're going to be assembling little lollipop holders, boba ones <laughs> to be exact. So um, I absolutely love this project, but before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support that I can um, possibly get. So all right, this is what we're doing today. Um, I absolutely love these lollipop holders, and they're a little bit different than what we're used to seeing because um, basically you take any file and you're gonna duplicate it and you weld it together by this little rectangular strip right here. And what that does is it holds the lollipop in place and then we have it, the, the stick coming up and we also have like a little tie right here. So it really keeps this in place. Like you can see this is super stable. Here's the ghost lollipop inside. Here's a little strip. So it just makes it so that they all stand really easily and they look great all together. Um, and what I really love about it is just the fact that we don't change the actual like file um, in a sense that it's, you know, it's Hello Kitty in full instead of having like a little cutout for where the lollipop goes. This, um, this takes into account how wide the lollipop is. And so it comes up and it's still, it's still your, it's still the image, which uh, which I like because then it's super cute and it doesn't, we're not trying to make the lollipop work into the, the file itself. The file can just remain super, super cute. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the main thing is you can do this with any image, right? Because here's the main image. We're gonna attach it to the rectangular piece and this is the bottom. And we're basically just gonna fold it up like this. So. I'm gonna fold it right here where the rectangular piece is. And this is our boba drink. Now on this one, I did not cut two little holes. I did not slice out two little holes to put the stick in between because it already had this window right here. So we're just gonna tie through right here and then the stick will come up right here. All right, all right, so let's put this thing together. It's so stinking cute. Um. Let's see how this works. All right, I had a couple pieces on here that I didn't pull off yet. So I'm gonna pull out the black right now. So here's our black straw. And, okay, I think I cut everything else out. So let me just grab this. I grabbed two pieces. And then I thought it would be fun to actually have the boba pieces kind of stick out a little bit. I don't know. It might look weird. It might not. <laughs> but I cut it both ways. So let me pop out these little pieces that... What I like about this file, and this file is from Barely Art. It is free. Um, what I like about it is that we're not dealing with any small pieces. Everything is really big. It's sliced out so that you can see the, the layer behind it. So I, I mean, I know we're, we're sort of wasting a little bit of paper, but it makes the file so much easier to put together. So, all right, let's start gluing some of these things together so that we know what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna use my Barely Art glue, which is perfect for cardstock. And we don't need a lot. We just need it to stick. <laughs> so um, what I really like about, let's see, this is the one that I'm working on. You just wanna make sure that wherever your glue touches, that we press down and we get the glue and the two sheets of paper to stick to each other. And that way you don't get warping, it doesn't pop up. I mean, look at that. It's totally on there, super flat, and it's not gonna warp my paper, which I love. Okay. Um, let's see. I need to actually look at this image to make sure that I'm not messing it up. <laughs> All right, so we've got, yeah, okay, so I'm good, I'm good. Okay, let's put this, so we've got, So the only thing that will give it a little pop will be the boba pieces. And I think the boba, I'm gonna put foam squares on them and that way they just kind of stick out a little bit, even though they're inside the cup, I know. 
We'll see. If, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it looks. I went with the orange lids, but it could be any color. I mean, it's just so stinking cute. Okay. Um, so we've got our black all the way in the back. Oops. It's the other way. Um, where's my other black piece? Um, I think it's time for me to either change my blade. This was not a very good cut. Change my blade and then also my mat. My mat wasn't that sticky, so I needed to pop these out instead of just pulling it off the mat. So, all right, here we go. So it's the black, then dark brown, and then the light brown goes on top, so. And so basically, I mean, I have the design space tutorial in there for you on, the, um, on my YouTube channel, but I'll walk you through it right now. Basically, Whatever file image you use, you're gonna duplicate it, and then we're gonna flip it um, horizontally so that you have it on the back side. And then we just weld this little piece in between so that you have a layer like this. So it's gonna look like that. Look how cute that is. <laughs> okay, let's put all these pieces together. Okay, hold up. Oh no. Okay, so I did this incorrectly. The brown should go down first. And then, and then the black. Gosh, I keep doing this incorrectly. Let me pop out another few pieces that didn't pop out. That's what happens when you don't pay attention, huh? <laughs> so better that I do it, I make the mistake, and then you guys can learn. Don't make the same mistake. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so we have the dark brown goes down first, then the black, and then this will come over. So then we'll see the boba balls through there like that. But I think what I want to do is I did cut extra boba balls, and I want to put them in here. So, um, but right now, let's, and I'm actually, you know what, let's put some space in between these pieces. So I am going to put, give me a second to grab some foam tape. Here we go. And while I'm doing that, I'm actually just going to turn on my glue gun. So I'm not going to put it down just yet. And then we're gonna put it on here as well. On this one, I'm okay with putting the foam tape on without the glue gun, but to put it on top of the black glitter cardstock, I'm a little bit worried that the foam tape won't stick on that well. So let me see, but I am 
just in case that this doesn't stay on that well one of my foam squares will have glue <laughs> just to make sure because this is I um, so here's the thing I'm not using barely arts foam tape because they're precious and I don't want to waste them <laughs> but um, on those I'm not too concerned about adding more glue to it the the stickiness the adhesive is super super sticky so I absolutely think it's amazing um, but I don't always use it it's it's a little bit more on the expensive side and so I'm not ready for that all right so I'm gonna wait for my glue gun I'm gonna flip this over let's do the other side of this so now that we know we're putting down the dark brown first no we got to put this down first And, um, do I have this right? I don't think I have the right one. Are they all the same? No, they're not all the same. Okay, so give me a second to pull the right one. Because it's mirror image, right? Oh, I just did the same one. How is it possible? Oh, here we go. Okay, let's see if this is the right one. This one's the right one, okay. But these are so great. Um, I think they would be great for a birthday party. You know, to go with a theme. And they're so cute, they'll stand up. Um, okay, so I'm pressing down because I want to make sure that the glue and the paper are all meshing together and they'll dry flat. And then let's put on our little orange piece. Oh my gosh, that's sticky. There we go. I'm going to press down and let it dry. Okay. Um, okay, so on this side, no, it's the other one. There we go. Okay, and then on this one, I need the other black one. <laughs> you can see it didn't all pop out. So I'm just gonna take my blade. And I do love this one. So this is from Excel Blades. It's the pink one with the extra like super comfy grip. Um, It's overkill for this kind of project. <laughs> but it's perfect for my off the mat projects when I'm cutting foam. But because I love it so much, it's always on my desk and I just use it. So, all right, here we go. So this one, I'm gonna add foam tape, right? And I say this in all the videos, I know I do, but um, with any adhesive, uh, vinyl tape whatever 
um, you need to add a lot of you need to add pressure pressure is what makes it stick so when you um, when you put this down you just want to make sure you're we're like activating the stickiness we're pushing it down every square inch of that adhesive is getting pressure and sticking to both sides so all right so we've got that down let's get let's see we've got this piece which I think we can put this on now oops I already took that off okay my glue is hot I'm gonna do it just on one well maybe two okay how cute is that a little boba drink. <laughs> now, if we really wanted to, let me see how many boba pieces are there. We could stick the stick these out even more by putting a really big one on there. So let me try and see what that looks like. We'll do it on one side and not the other side, and that way we can see which one we like more. So let me pull out these little pieces. All right, and then let's flip this over and do this guy. I'm gonna press down. Put a little bit of glue. And then let's put, so on these, I'm gonna use my quarter of an inch foam squares, cubies from, um, from Barely Art. So I'm gonna stick it behind here. Really sticking it down. They pop out a little bit. I don't know if it's worth it. You can barely tell. I'm not gonna do it on these other ones. Actually, I'm just gonna take it out there. I think it looks better without. There's hardly a difference. I don't think it's worth the effort. Okay, so I'm making a judgment call. So this is what it's gonna look like. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute, right? Um, okay, so I'm gonna stick the lollipop in. And here we go, like that. And then in between, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna use this color. And I would recommend cutting a longer string. You can always trim it afterwards. It's a lot easier to deal with a longer string at the beginning, so. I'm gonna stick it through. And this just ensures that your lollipop doesn't go anywhere. The other thing that you could do too is you could always put like um, double-sided tape or something at the bottom. Because if you did that, then, well, I guess this allows you to take apart the, you know, the, the lollipop. Because if we glued it or did anything else, um, you would actually ruin the whole, right? So let's tie this down. See, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to double knot it. And then we can either, I mean, we can tie it. It would be cute. Maybe I should have done it in orange since it's for Halloween. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'm going to trim this a little bit because I don't think it's too long. Uh, 
a little boba treat. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so cute. All right, so we've got this one. This one is definitely my favorite. I mean, how can you go wrong with Hello Kitty? But you can kind of see, and then here's the ghost. So, so much fun. And on this one, we could have put, you know, names or something right here as well. Um, maybe even do it in HTV because it's a little bit easier. I wouldn't want to deal with those individual letters, but oh my gosh. So, it's like a pumpkin spice latte boba drink. <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you make more and tag me because I would love to see the different images that you guys end up using. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.